What's up, Nintendo Gamers? The Kid here with another Wii U update. And we have some mind-blowing news this time, guys. So please, there is a lot of information, so try to keep up with me. Um, so I have to choose first, again, what I really want to uh, talk about. And there is a large abundance of rumors, and I will not go through all those rumors as I stated in previous updates, because some rumors, they're just not worth it to go through. Um, some that will actually sound, sound, I will go through, but the ones that just sound just completely ridiculous, um, I won't go through. And if I go through them all in general, uh, we'll end up with a very long video. So, the big news today is um, that the Wii U controller has been redesigned um, in small ways, but noticeable, uh, notice very noticeable ways. Um, so, if you guys haven't seen, the Wii U controller used to have um, circle pads for, uh, for, um, you know, circle pads instead of the standard analog sticks. Well, it is now confirmed that the Wii U controller now has analog sticks. And sorry guys, if I sound stuffy, that's because my nose is stuffy. So, people were complaining at first, um, about, about, um, circle pads, on the Wii U saying that, uh, you know, they're not sufficient for a console controller. And I didn't mind, but I agreed to a certain point because the, the, uh, s circle pads, um, are, will be easy to break, especially, uh, on a controller this big. I know the Wii U controller is said to be light, but, but, um, you could, I could still see someone actually breaking them, you know, since they're so small, they're so light and uh, very flexible, easily be broken by children, you know, by accidentally stepping on it, um, you know, just all that, that stuff. So, it now has analog controllers. Uh, control sticks, which is very cool. It's nice to see the Nintendo go back to uh, analog uh, controller, and you could see. Uh, and I'll do a comparison of the E3 modeled uh, controller and this. Uh, you can see the uh, start and select buttons, which is also plus and minus, are now below, directly below the X A Y B buttons. Um, and, uh, also you can see these other buttons, these, uh, cutouts buttons in the, uh, in the controller. They're white and they have no specific wording. So is that some sort of button that just hasn't been labeled yet? And you can see one, uh, by the power button between the power button and the battery button, uh, well, battery indicator light. And you can see one be directly below the directional uh, pad um, right there. So, and also you see a mic there uh, right by the home button. And, yeah, you can see a little bit under it, too. And you can tell this is from uh, developers since it has, you know, all these wires coming out of it at the top. So, it's pretty legit. Um, so it's a good welcome addition for the Wii U. Um, hopefully maybe at E3 we'll see some more changes, but, um, to the console, actually, the design of the console, it could be completely different, just like the controller is somewhat different. So, when it comes to the actual controller, uh, now I'll get to the older design of the controller, um, uh, right here. One second. Um, trying to open it. Now, on this, uh, um, right here, this, uh, the E3 version, you can see the circle pads, of course. 
and you can see the D-pad um, right there below the first one, but you don't see that cutout button on either sides that I pointed out um, from from um, the current uh, version of the of the Wii U controller. Um, you can see that the start and select buttons, the plus and minus buttons, are uh, right between. Well, uh, both. Uh, has the home button in the middle of them opposed to being directly under the X, A, B, Y buttons. And, uh, so th those are the differences, uh, right there. Um, so that's cool. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below what you guys think about the new design of the Wii U, uh, controller. So there has also been some new patents revealed um uh from Nintendo and it's uh, th rem uh the Wii remote will be able to be used uh both on the TV screen um and on the Wii U controller now how does this works um we're not yet sure uh from it says the patent outlines how a player could use the Wii Remote to interact with both the TV and Wii U controller. In um, in the example given below, and I'll, I'm showing you guys that right now, two characters are under uh, threat of attack from a UFO. Uh, don't judge what why they're doing this. Um, and uh, using the Wii Remote, you could grab a character from the image on the TV and drop it into a safe area on a Wii U controller. So basically, like if you have a me, uh, you can pick them up and then like then point to the Wii U controller and then uh, you'll be able to drag them and drop them there. So that's pretty good. Uh, I can see a lot of ways that can be integrated in games you know, a fun way. Um, and like Nintendo Life said, um, what they're thinking most, like I was thinking, is Pikmin 3, how that can be uh, used in Pikmin 3. Um, I'm not sure if I revealed this news yet, but Ubisoft is readying seven Wii U games. Um, uh, I believe five are casual and four, uh, not four, but two are core. And um, we all know that, uh, if you guys didn't know, J they announced Just Dance 3 for the Wii U. No big surprise there. But um, the list of the games currently that um, <coughs> Ubisoft has announced is Killer Freaks from Outer Space, which is one of the core games, <coughs> Rayman Legends, uh, Assassin's Creed 3, which is another core game, and also a new game they announced is Marvel Avengers Battle for Earth, which is going to be based off the Avengers movie. So I wonder how Ubisoft will make a Marvel game opposed to Sega making a Marvel game. So the other game is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Online. And, um, of course, Rayman Legends. Uh, so, those are the games of now. So, hopefully more at E3. So, um, um, one second. There's another patent here. Oh, God, I'm sick of being sick. Because uh, if you guys haven't paid attention, I was sick last video. And I think I was sick the other video. I don't know why I keep getting sick out here in Texas. Um, but as far as uh, Wii U patents, there has been a lot. Um, the latest Wii U patent has been one that we've seen in the demonstration video, which is the golf uh, laying down your Wii U controller and then using a Wii remote to... Uh, to be figuratively used as a golf club and then uh, hitting the the golf ball that is on the Wii U controller on the floor um, and it translating to the TV. So we'll hopefully see more patents before um, E3, uh, but 
as of now, those are the only two that I have found um, to be uh, pretty legit. Um, so, as far as any other news, there is a rumor um, about uh, Star Fox and Metroid crossover for the Wii U um, that Retro Studios is working on, but I... I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, that's one of the more insane rumors that I was talking about. But uh, if it is true, that would be really interesting. Um, if it's not, I wouldn't be much surprised. Um, and I'm surprised that a lot of people are actually opposed to it. Because Star I always thought Star Fox and Metroid um, will be cool together. But I'll, but mostly I thought F Zero and Metroid would be even better because because their universes seem more similar than uh, Star Fox and uh, Metroid because Star Fox they're 